to the west. We melted her. Oh, you liquidated her. Hey, very resourceful. Well, if you please, sir, now we would like you to keep your promises to us. Not so fast, not so fast. I'll have to give the matter a little thought. Uh, go away and come back tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Well, I want to go home today. You've had enough time already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've had plenty of time. Now, little... Do not arouse the wrath of the great Oz. I said come back tomorrow. Yeah, she's right. That's yeah. right. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? You ungrateful creatures. Think yourself lucky that I'm giving you an audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now. Oh, oh, oh the great Oz has spoken. Oh, do oh, pay no attention to that man. Who are you? I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. You are? I don't believe you. No, no, I'm afraid it's true. There's no other wizard except me. You humbug! Yeah, yes, that's exactly so. I'm a humbug. You are a very bad man. Oh, no, no, my dear. I'm a very good man. I'm just a very bad wizard. Well, what about the heart that you promised Tin Man? Well, and the courage that you promised Cowardly Lion? And well, Scarecrow's brains. Why, anybody can have a brain. That's a very mediocre commodity. <laughs> Back where I come from, we have universities where men go to become great thinkers. And when they come out, they think deep thoughts and with no more brains than you have. <laughs> but they have one thing you haven't got, a diploma. <laughs> Therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me, by the Universitatis Committeatum e Pluribus Unum, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? Yeah, as a, as a doctor of thinkology. The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Oh, joy! Rapture! Woohoo! I've got a brain! Oh! Oh, how can I ever thank you enough? Well, you can't. Oh. <laughs> As for you, my fine friend, you are under the unfortunate delusion that simply because you run away from danger, you have no courage. You're confusing courage with wisdom. Back where I come from, we have men who are called heroes. Once a year, they take their fortitude out of mothballs and parade it down the main street of the city. And they have no more courage than you have. But they have one thing you haven't got, a medal. <coughs> Therefore, for meritorious conduct, extraordinary valor, conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I award you the Triple Cross. <laughs> You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Oh, oh shucks, folks, I'm speechless. <laughs> As for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart. You don't know how lucky you are not to have it. Hearts will never be practical until they can be made unbreakable. Oh, yes, but I, I still want one. Back where I come from, we have men who do nothing all day but good deeds. They are called phyla... Uh, good deed doers. And their hearts are no bigger than yours. But they have one thing you haven't got, a testimony. Therefore, in consideration of your kindness, I take pleasure in presenting you with a small token of our esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but how much you are loved by others. Oh. It ticks. Oh, listen to my heart. It ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Re 
what my medal says. Awarded for courage. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? Oh, they're all so wonderful. What about Dorothy? Oh, yes, what about Dorothy? Yeah, Dorothy. Yes. Uh, yeah, Dorothy next. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Dor Dorothy. Well, I don't think there's anything for me in that bag. Well, you forced me into a cataclysmic decision. Guard! Guard! Call the people of the Emerald City to me and prepare my balloon. I have an announcement to make. Yes, wizard. The only way to get Dorothy back to Kansas is for me to take her there myself. <laughs> oh, but can you? Are you a clever enough wizard for that? Oh, child, you cut me to the quick. I'm an old Kansas man myself, born and bred in the heart of the Western wilderness. Premier balloonist par excellence to the Miracle Wonderland Carnival Company until one day, while performing spectacular feats of stratospheric skill never before attempted by civilized man, an unfortunate phenomena occurred. The balloon failed to return to the fair. <gasps> it did. Yeah. Aren't you frightened? Frightened? You are talking to a man who has laughed in the face of death, sneered at doom, and chuckled at catastrophe. I was petrified. <laughs> Then, uh, suddenly, the wind changed, and the balloon floated down into the heart of this noble city, where I was instantly acclaimed Oz, the first wizard deluxe. <laughs> well, uh, times being what they were, I accepted the job, retaining the balloon against the advent of a quick getaway. <laughs> and in that very balloon, my dear Dorothy, you and I will return to the land of E. Pluribus Odom. <laughs> Bring it in, that's right. Citizens of Oz, gather round, gather round. <laughs> Citizens of Oz, I, your wizard par ardua ad alta, am about to embark upon a hazardous and technically unexplainable journey into the outer stratosphere oh. <laughs> to confer, converse, and otherwise hobnob with my brother wizards. <laughs> and I hereby decree that until such time, if any, that I return, the Scarecrow, by virtue of his highly superior brain, shall rule in my stead. <laughs> Assisted by the Tin Man, by virtue of his magnificent heart. <laughs> And the lion, by virtue of his courage. <laughs> Obey them as you would me. <laughs> yes, thank you, my friends. And now I uh, think it's time to uh, cast off. <laughs> climb aboard, Dorothy, dear. Climb aboard. Uh, climb aboard, Missy, while the wind is in your favor. Oh, Toto, I can't go without Toto. Oh, oh, never mind. I, I don't I let avoid. go of the rope. <laughs> This is a highly irregular procedure, absolutely unprecedented. Oh, the balloon's going up. Here's your Dorothy. Help! 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 Oh, oh, no. You've ruined my exit. Oh, please don't go. Don't leave without me. Don't uh, oh, come back. I can't come back. I, I don't know how it works. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, now I'll never get home. Oh, stay with us then, Dorothy. We all love you. We don't want you to go. Oh, that's very nice. But this could never be like Kansas. Oh, NEM has probably stopped wondering what's happened to me. Oh, Scarecrow, what am I going to do? <laughs> Here's someone who can help you. <gasps> oh, can you help me? Will you help me? You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. I have. But why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. What have you learned, Dorothy? Well, I guess it's that it's not just enough to want to see Uncle Henry and Annie M. And that if I ever go searching for my heart's desire again, I won't go any further than my own back door. Because if it isn't there, well, then it was never missing to begin with. Is that right? That's all it is. Oh, but that's so simple. 
I should have thought of that for you. I should have felt it in my heart. Me too. No, she had to learn it for herself. Now those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. And Toto too? Toto too. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, well, it's going to be so hard to say goodbye. Bye, Tin Man. Oh, now don't cry. You'll just get yourself all rusted up. Now I know I have a heart. Because it's breaking. Goodbye, Lion. I know it sounds silly, but I'm gonna miss the way you used to holler for help before you got your courage. Well, I'm gonna do a little more hollering when you go. Oh, Scarecrow. You were my first friend here. I think I'll miss you most of all. <coughs> Are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready. Say goodbye, Toto. Then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and think to yourself, there's no place like home. 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 Wake up, honey. There's no place like home. Dorothy, Dorothy, dear, it's Auntie Em, darling. Oh, and you, yes, Dorothy. It's you. Let's go. Oh, hello there. I just dropped by because I heard the little girl got caught in the big storm. Oh, well, she seems all right now. Yeah, she got quite a bump on the head. We kind of thought for a minute there she was going to leave us. No. Oh, but that's the trouble, Uncle Henry. I did leave you, and I was trying to get back for days and days. Oh, there, there, lie quiet now. You've just had a bad dream. Oh, but it wasn't a dream, Anna. Yeah, sure it wasn't. Remember me, your old pal, Hunk? Me? Hickory? You couldn't forget this face, could you? No. Well, it wasn't a dream. You, you were all there, and you kept resting up, and you kept grabbing your tail. Oh, and you were a humbug. Well, let's not get personal. <laughs> <laughs> She couldn't have been, could you? Oh, we dream lots of silly things when we sleep. <laughs> oh, but it wasn't a dream. It was a real place. And I remember there were a lot of wicked things there, but mostly it was very beautiful. And all I kept saying was, I want to go home. And they sent me home. Yes. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Of course we believe you, Dorothy. It doesn't matter anyway. We're home, Toto, and this is our farm. And I love you all, and I'll never run away again. Right, Toto? Because there's no place like home. There's no place like home.